I want to now look at something called Tmux, which I think will make your life quite nice. Um, Tmux, there's an earlier version of this called Screen. In fact, I was a many years a screen user, but just got introduced to Tmux uh, very recently. So let's say I log into Knuth. Okay, I could go about and do my business. Um, what happens some, though is if I leave, and then come back in, I've lost all my state. Let me let me give you an example. So let's say I go into the OS directory. So I'm in the OS directory, um, and now if I control D to exit, or just exit, and then come back in, I'm no longer in that directory, right? Which kind of makes sense. Everything gets lost, and I just come back in fresh. Sometimes I like to retain my state, though, okay? And so the way to do that is the program called Tmux. So Tmux, uh, by itself just creates a screen okay and you can have many virtual screens if you'd like so what this is showing me down here is that i have one screen it starts at zero because we're you know computer science people and it's running bash i can create another screen i have to use a tmux command for that every tmux command starts with control b so i just typed a control b if I don't know the commands, I can actually type a question mark, and that will show me all of the commands. Okay, so you can see uh, Control B, Control B actually just has a Control B, so forget about that. Um, I can go through and let's see what some of these are that'll be useful. So many of these I don't use uh, at all. I'll show you what I use. I'm using J to go down here, the same command you'd use in VI. Or VIN. So, ah, here's one. Control BC, create a new window. So that's very handy. I can Control B N, select the next window, and Control B P, select the previous pane. It's interesting because I use those. Uh, interchangeably. In fact, I don't even know the difference between a pane and a window. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, see how I get out of here. Uh, let's see. I think. Let's see. It's escape key. No, it's just return. Gets me out of here. So I'm gonna go ahead and create. I'm gonna type Control B and C. And now notice I have another window here. Okay. Let's go ahead and go into Vim or Vi. Uh, foo. So I am in, notice it updated to show me that I'm in VI here. Asterisk, show me that that's the current window. Uh, it's also kind of nice, it shows me where I am and what time and date it is. Okay, so now I'm gonna try Control B and N, and that switches, and now notice I'm back in Bash. So often I'll have, I don't know, three maybe, rarely more than that, windows. So whoops, Control B, Let's try that again. Control B, C creates another one. So here I am. I'm going to go into um, this directory here. So let's see. This is my third window, num window number two. And here I am. And I'm going to, let's say I wanted to run um Kima with debugging. Okay? So uh, I don't remember what that is. Oh, it's chemo dash gdb. Chemo dash nox dash gdb. Okay, so from here, I'm going to run chemo dash nox just gdb. Okay. And then it says run make gv. Well, I don't want to run it here, and I have to keep this running. So I'm going to switch over. Control bn. Control bn. Let's try that one more time. Control bn. I'm going to back over to here. And now I'm going to make gdb. 
Sorry, I need to switch to that same directory. And now I'm running that. So control BN. Okay, so we're running. That's nice. And then here I might be editing, for example. Uh, I might be editing pmap.c, okay, just as an example. And then I can switch back and forth as long as I get this control B, right? So control B, N. And now I can do things like uh, continue. Control B, N. So that allows me to do this without actual separate independent windows. Okay. The nice thing about this, and this is really the key thing, is I can maintain my state. That is, if I disconnect this session, okay, if I either just lose it because I close my laptop or something else, or I actually close it, I can come back into this. Let me show you how that works. So here's my window, okay? And I am gonna go ahead and create a new tab Get that. Let's not use tabs because it's a little more complicated. Let's create a brand new window. So we got a new window here. All right, and I'm going to close this window. Yes, I want to terminate my running process. So as far as it's concerned, this is my local machine. I'm running SSH. So I killed SSH. So I killed SSH. Now, as far as Knuth is concerned, SSH is gone. Okay. Uh oh. I lost the file I was in the middle of editing. I lost my GDB session and everything else. Is that right? No, actually not necessarily the case because it was running in Tmux, it's still there. So I will go back to Knuth and then just see Tmux A, which says reattach and there I am and it's back running. This is also useful if you've got a long running program. Uh, let's say you're doing a machine learning training that's gonna take two days. Well, you certainly don't want to hope that you don't lose your session over two days. Instead, start a TMUX session, run your uh, long-running two-day command, and then it, when you're ready to come back and look at it, just TMUX A to reattach. Okay. So I find this a real lifesaver. I highly recommend one of these things that you learn about. And you don't need to learn many commands. Uh, at a minimum, you could just learn TMUX and TMUX A to reattach and nothing else, it is pretty handy to have the multiple windows associated with it though, because that's often something you want.